Really? The birds are music? Okay. Hello, it's Trekker Joe and birds are music in this game. I didn't know that. That's, that's, okay, that's weird. Okay, so anyway. We have Orny to rescue and we need to land on the moon. So how about we do both today? As well as get spanned, let me just, I will just keep forgetting if I don't. Just don't terminate fly. Okay. One thing I forgot to do is take a temperature and hope, yep. Just transmit that data. Spend half of our electric charge. I'm sure, yeah, that's, that's kind of useless. So we got a little bit of science. But what we actually need to be dealing with here would be uh, Orny's craft right here. Now, the big thing here is I can't fly. I can turn. Why is this an option? Okay. But either way, as you can see here, I have to recover Orny's craft if I don't then that's a thing so here's what i i can already see we're pretty near the launch window so i'm just going to go into the vab trick is to kind of catch him like catch him ahead because he's in a low orbit we can't have our craft completely uh ahead anyway it's going to be so much easier for me to insert uh, montage mu music here. <laughs> so what we need is something like this. So like something like this, I guess. Actually, not at all like this. We want we want it to be more like this. And the reason behind that is simple. I don't want my kerbal to crash into it. And then we just want... We want it an antenna, but we'll work that out. I guess, like, put the antenna here. Put the antenna on like this. And hopefully it'll be on a, like, completely straight. And then what we can do is... Add a parachute. We want a heat shield. And it would be under thermal. You want to reduce this ablator to like something like, let's say 60, because mm, 60 was cutting it. Well, we're not coming through with so much momentum, so we should be fine. So this is the return capsule, and we want a want to decouple that and we want another stage here which is actually going to be fairly large actually i think this is going to be enough of a stage and so we have the basics here and yeah so basically all i intend to do is send this thing up get this stage into orbit and we should be able to rescue people from low carbon uh, carbon orbit easily one thing i keep forgetting you don't want monopropellant also another thing you don't want is basically hibernate in warp should be auto that's something that you kind of want to remember like it's something i forgot with the other satellite and i could have toggled that to be honest but since it's going to be able to regenerate its uh, power anyway, I don't really need to. But for this, something like this, I probably would because I only have so much electric charge stored. And I don't feel like putting batteries, so yeah. But yeah, remember to empty your monopropellant because it does increase the price and it does also increase the weight just a little bit. So there's that. Anyway, I'm going to build the rest of the rocket to launch this, so I'll see you then.
Anyway, I think I finished this. I created my Mario, who is going to spend his days uh, rescuing people. I think, I think it's a little stout. So, three, two, okay, I poured. want this. That was a mistake I was making. So, yeah. So doing it like this, we can get it within a very short distance. Nope. Well, doing it anyway, it seems. We're going to do like this. And we got it. Okay. That was even better. So our relative speed is going to be about 113 miles an hour, which is okay. So now what we want to do is set this to target. This is exceptionally important. If you don't do this, then you're going to have a lot of difficulty. Like setting it to target, your nodes are going to change to reference this craft. So if I want to slow down relative to it and have zero velocity, I can just do that. So we're going to time accelerate until I begin to like feel like we need to. It took like four seconds to slow down. So we don't have to do too much. And we can very well just do it from this screen too. One minute, one minute. I'll wait until it gets very close. Like the best way to do this with the least fuel expenditure would be like this. Okay, it's time. So we we slow down to 21.1 meters a second. We're going to be prepared to uh, slow down the rest of the way. Unfortunately, we do appear to be on the other side. I kind of miscalculated. 
let's just slow down slowly. So as you can see, we're moving relative to this. And that's kind of where the cool comes in. So anyway, we're going to use our square bracket keys. Find Orny. Uh, okay. So it's one of these. I can't see a thing. You probably can. So we're going to not do this. So let's rename this to... Let's just set this to be debris. We want Orny, who is a scientist. Interesting. When Orny to leave, we want Orny's lights on. Space. Uh, hit R to turn our CS on. You want to line up your prograde with the uh, the, the Mario here. Uh, Kerbals are kind of weird. They're bound by the uh, by like they're like gimbal locked. Is what I'm trying to say. They're actually gimbal locked to uh, the perspective of the camera, and that's a difficulty. I can't actually see the craft, but I do know I have my lights on, so hopefully I'll actually see the craft. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, almost crashed. Let's just board. Now what we want to do is, we're not selecting this craft anymore, it's debris. We're going to go back to orbit, and we want to land back at KSC, right? as close as possible. So I'm going to do something that I haven't actually like shown yet. We can add a maneuver, as long as this maneuver is not too ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to make it ridiculous. Let's, let's do this kind of maneuver. And let's do it kind of like this. Like, you really slow, start to slow down once you hit uh, about this close to the atmosphere, so I'm hoping that means that we can uh, control this. Let's do this. Wait for this to look the same. I think that's going to be correct. So now we can turn this uh, antenna off. Like we've managed to uh, survive. We got a whole bunch of these. So basically now I'm just going to say warp here. And there we go. Now we're in the atmosphere. So the question is... Uh, I think we turned the SAS off so that we get pulled around a little bit by uh, the atmosphere. Uh, this is just so that I don't have to worry too much about keeping it steady. I'm going to give it a slight rotation just so that I can keep up. So it should... Okay. Hopefully this thing starts to feel atmospheric effects soon. But one way we can kind of choose things, and it's the way I'm kind of thinking of, is that I can just dump the stage to get rid of extra momentum. Or I could use the engine. Let's just speed up. There we go, we're being pulled by the atmosphere. We're kind of watching this. OK, 
Okay, so we need to increase. Make sure to decrease this as much as possible. I think that's there. So now we're going to cut this because I don't think we need it anymore. And while I could try to land with it, I don't want to risk it. I'm basically now hoping that our momentum carries us enough to get to the KSC, but not to have to worry. This is all fly by wire. So if I manage to land this, I'm going to be surprised. Also, I'm going to target this. I'm also not going to set this to target. I want to see how far it goes. So we can like see the Mario, for example, is going to crash much further because Mario just has more momentum. Also, it does appear we undershot quite a bit. But we're probably going to wind up somewhere around here, which is going to be in these fields. So I'm going to... I guess time will work it. Yeah, we could have done a power plant. Let's deploy our shoots. That's going to help slow us down even more. Also, because of this, because of the way we re-entered, we hardly used any of later. So yeah. There we go. Evidently, the debris crashed. Hopefully not in KSC, that would have been disastrous. So yeah, anyway, I did kind of really badly miscalculate. Also, evidently way too much and we lost the... That's, that's funny. I'm glad we didn't lose the pilot. So, we're going to recover the vessel. Just note to self, always jettison that. Uh, yeah. So we should have uh, done this. So, we got a little bit of science. We also got a lot of funds. We got Orny, who is already level 1. Yeah, that's a bug. So yeah, anyway. We're going to actually land on the moon. As you can see by these contracts. So let's do that. We're not actually going to be able to make it, are we? Okay. Yep. If I check, yep. I just added a little bit more fuel. Yeah, instead of more boosters, I just went for more fuel. Guess what happened? It made it.
mistake, it is time to start slowing down. about 50. So let's start the burn here, so that we're a little bit away. We don't actually need light. So we know that. Okay, we're slowing down, and we land. That was a little bit rough, but we did land. And we have half our fuel tank, which is good. There, so let's rotate ourselves, face the opposite direction. Looks better this way anyway. We'll have it so that our... so that we're directly, like, at our torque, like this. I'm going to quick save now. And we did take our, yeah, we did take this. This is going to be okay. VVA report, uh, take surface sample, lower yourself a little bit, collect this data because you don't want to be holding on to this. And, uh, board. We're going to close these doors because I don't like leaving them open. And there we go. We have managed to actually land. And we've succeeded. So we have actually managed to make it back. I I was a little bit too uh, fast on that, unfortunately. Though not the most efficient mission. In fact, probably the least efficient mission. So we don't need... We won't need this. So we're going to retract this. We still have an exceptionally good signal. And we'll click save here. And then we're just going to work here. And it'll automatically lower its speed. Once we get into this orbit, we should easily... Like we should... Like once we get into the atmosphere, I'm going to start burning retrograde. As an attempt to help reduce our speed. But I'm not... I don't want to drop periapsis too much. So I am going to try to keep that high. Now we don't need it, but I'm going to see if I can bleed off some speed with it on just so that it goes down with us. I'll also save some of later.
Okay, I think that is good enough. We'll just follow this. We're going to target it because I want to see how its apoapsis drops. Definitely sounds like it's taking damage. We're going to be using most, if not all, our blade. There we go. So that's crashing. Or rather, what I had focused on is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Is it actually going to survive? Still being affected. Now we're going to climb jump it. Thankfully, our absolute axis is pretty much going to catch up to us again, Jimmy, because of where we are. Yeah, anyway, this piece of debris is also slowly losing its momentum, but. I have no idea if it is actually going to land. So yeah, anyway, we are going to automatically deploy shoots. Okay, moment of truth. So, yeah, we're going to transmit this. Yep, just so that we can take another crew report. Can't make a surface sample. UVA report, nothing. Uh, take data. Take data. That's logs of pressure data. Actually, what did that say? Review back. Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. I expected it to read the water pressure or something. And keep this. We're going to recover this vessel. And... I think... I think I am done. So we earned 462.4 science, and we have 755 science. Just from going to the moon and grabbing some uh, research. Parts, parts value 11.8. We were not able to recover. Evidently, I keep forgetting to remove monitor propellant. Jeb earned XP, but not actually that much. We managed to do a lot this episode. I have a lot of ed editing ahead of myself because it took a lot of attempts to get to the moon this time, mostly due to my not being like not playing the game for a while, and I evidently just misjudged how much fuel to bring. Like I literally, it was literally a difference between completely being able to land on the moon and not being able to leave at all. So I will see you next time.